Jenna Marble started her YouTube channel in 2010. She was around everywhere when I first started my YouTube journey. Initially, she posted videos about beauty and fashion, her life. This led to a lot of attention. She was all over the initial flourishes of YouTube showing up on things like the Philip DeFranco show and other channels. Her cosplay, her abrasively beautiful attitude, her uh, ability to be honest, her love for her people, her, her pets. This truly grew her an audience. She'd mentioned in the past that she had previously dabbled in the adult entertainment industry, she'd been a dancer, and this personality, her humour, her ability and willingness to be open and vulnerable and honest on camera was, was truly attractive. Over the years, she diversified her content, talking about pets, her family, relationships, current events and that kind of thing. Being an OG of the platform as well, she was able to slow down her publishing schedule so she'd publish when she felt like it, maybe once a week. She'd talk about the whirlwind that was YouTube and publicity, and she was one of those recognisable faces that, that would show up in random places. Now, Marbles faced some backlash in 2020. When the whole wave that, that swept away Shane Dawson's career came for Jenna Marbles. In some of her older videos, she had made some racially insensitive comments. Wearing blackface, in fact, even resurfacing on social media. She apologized for her ba behavior straight away. There was no hoo-ha about this. There was no dancing around. She sat down. She admitted that she was wrong. She admitted that she needed a break. There was no smoke and mirrors like you see with some YouTuber apologies. Now in the wake of this apology, she then f faced even more backlash from being not proactive enough to, to help to kind of make up for what she'd done in the past. This was problematic behavior in her past that she she's just swept under the rug supposedly. Now, I say supposedly because I honestly believe in this case that Jenna Marbles was just caught up in a, a witch hunt that was sweeping around at the time. That's my personal opinion. And she was a content creator that was just honest about the fact that yes, I did something wrong, I'll own this and I'll I'll leave, I, I apologize. And so many YouTubers don't do that. Have a look at people like Logan Paul who apologize 50 billion times and they're still on the platform. Sam Pepper, people like that. Marbles took a hiatus in September 2020. All of this had taken such a toll on her mental health and the way that she saw herself that that was it, she needed to step away. Now, she did have a podcast with her partner which she's also since left. As of this day, she's not posted on YouTube and she has been inactive, very inactive on other social media platforms. She remains very popular and very influential. She advocates for mental health awareness and supports other important issues. But as of this point in time, she's not on YouTube. She doesn't seem to plan on returning. Jenna Marble's YouTube career has had a controversial ending. It just goes to show that sometimes things in the past can come back to bite you in the butt. So you either need to be careful or be willing to take ownership of your mistakes when they come to light. Unfortunately, I believe this is due to a larger change in the cultural landscape, in which some things that 10, 15 years ago would have just been let slide are much more sensitive today, just like some of these creators here. Go and check out this playlist if you like this video, and I'll see you soon.